Merry Christmas and welcome back to Flip Hour. And today we are reviewing a Christmas themed Yum Yum box. This was the craziest box that we've gotten so far. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it, 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 it is rain. And, excuse me. It has snacks, not just from places that we've had, that we've been to before, but also has stuff like the UK, France, uh, isn't Argentina in this? Argentina's in this, yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah we'll, when we go through, we'll tell you where it's from. Yeah. Uh, but just a crazy box, and it's a, I guess they might do this every Christmas, they just do a season's greetings box from, you know, a bunch of different places. Yeah. So, you know, like if you've watched this play, our show before. We'll go from one end to the other. We'll let you know what we think. Um, when we tell you what it is, we'll tell you where it's from as well this time. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's different places. Yeah. So, go ahead. So, over there. <clears throat> this one is Kent's Crips. Now, these are roast beef and Spitfire ale potato chips. From the UK. Yeah, Wormingford, Colchester, UK. Cool. Um, wherever, that is. <clears throat> wherever that is. Next, we have... I don't know what that name is. Uh, Bite-sized cookies with cinnamon. Um, yeah, cinnamon spice cookies. Uh, these are um, crisp, sweet, and spiced with Danish molasses. It's and from... And it stage Denmark. Hmm. Okay. Next we have green tea, green tea and strawberry popcorn. Yeah, that should be pretty easy to tell where that's from. <laughs> but... Where is it from? Where is it from? Oh. Ah, this is New Taipei City, Taiwan. Taiwan. We haven't had Taiwan. Did we have Taiwan? Yeah, we had Taiwan. We did have Taiwan. <laughs> I can't this is our ninth box? Ninth box, I think. When did you order it? I don't know. A long time ago. All right, what's next? Next we have, it's a, it is a good one, uh, <clears throat> Turkish Delight. So these are assorted Turkish Delight from Turkey. Now, we've had... Turkey. Turkish, we've had turkey before. Yeah. We've had Turkish Delight, but it was... It was like... Peach? Pear. 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 And it was good. These it are, was amazing. I love these. Kind of messy, though. A little bit. Next? Next, we have... Uh, so, <coughs> next, we have Pandoro Coco, Coco Cake with... <laughs> So it's a cappuccino cream cocoa pandora cake. This is from uh, Pierantano, Italy. 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 Italy is our first one. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? But we didn't have that one. No. So it's, you know, again, kind of like a Christmas theme type of thing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is Brett's Xavier Chevre something or other. From France. From I believe France. Yeah, it has the French flag on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> but yes, yeah, St. Uh, Saint Gerand, France. Cool. Now this is goat cheese and espalade chili potato chips. What? Yeah. Goat cheese and espalade chili. What is espalade? I have no clue. Okay. It smelled funky, though. <laughs> uh, the next one... Oh. Plum cake with dolce de leche filling, and that is from Santa Fe, Argentina. Hey. There's our Argentina one. Nice. We've never had any of them from South America, too. Yeah. This one is interesting. Prosecco flavored bonbons. Whatever those are. <laughs> uh, and that... <clears throat> is from Devon, UK. So, the bubbliest British candy there ever was. <clears throat> Next is Truffies Popcorn and Company. Popcorn truffles? Popcorn, popcorn truffles. Uh, popcorn flavored chocolate truffles. So it's covered on the outside. I'm not going to say the city name because there's no way I can do that on this one. <laughs> Uh, but it's from France. No wonder. Yeah. Uh, the next one we have baklava again. And this is his second time having baklava. Baklava is good. Uh, and for this one oh. is Amman Jordan. 
Oh, shoot, yeah. yeah. So, Jordan. the first one we had was turkey. Yeah, and that was the baklava. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, I guess they're in different countries. It makes sense. Yeah. Um, Georgia, if you didn't know, is a <coughs> country in the Middle East. It's like near Israel and Turkey. And the last thing that we have is Christmas pudding flavored fudge. From the UK? And that is from the UK. I know my stuff. So, a lot of stuff from the UK, uh, which is interesting because we yeah. haven't had anything from the UK before. But I'm kind of excited for this. Let's start with uh, crisps. And those are roast beef and Spitfire ale potato chips. Ale. Crisps, sorry, as they call them. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And a Merry Christmas. I can taste the ale. Oh, really? Yeah, just a little bit. I got nothing on that one. Give me a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> or have soup. Or not. Um, I can slightly taste the ale. A little bit of ale. Crispy. Know. Crispy. Very crispy. I mean, it's salty. I don't, it's not much. I don't get roast beef, though. Hmm. Which I'm kind of thankful for, because that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I don't know. It's okay for me. It's not too bad. A little bit of ale. So the next one is the cookies. From Denmark. And this is cinnamon spiced cookies. I thought this would, these would be like soft cookies. Oh. Remember, what did you say they smelled like? Biscoff. They do smell like Biscoff. Biscoff. If you don't know what Biscoff is, if, have you ever been on a plane before? <laughs> Or we had a review of Biscoff yeah. uh, peanut butter. That was a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. That's right. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That is. Mm -hmm. Not an overpowering cinnamon flavor. But boy, that's good. <laughs> that is so amazing. It's basically like Biscoff cookie. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't eat it in mouth. A little bit of spice in it though. I, I like that one. That's good. I like that better than the crisps. <clears throat> yeah. This one This one so far is probably the best one. Yeah. Yeah, you done chewing that one? Yes. <laughs> so the next one is the weird one from Taiwan. That's green leaf and red flower popcorn. You want to take both? Yeah. <laughs> so, a red and a green. <clears throat> Should we try them together or separately? Let's try it together. Together first? Okay. All right. Wow. Wow. I actually kind of like that combo. That's strange. I... I'd eat it. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily enjoy it, though. So, that's interesting. So, a <clears throat> strawberry and matcha popcorn. I'm not too fond of matcha. I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I like strawberry, but this combination together, it, okay, I like it. it. It's kind of good. I, I'd, I'd eat that one. So, that oh, one's mine. <laughs> All right. Turkish Delight. Next one. Turkish Delight. From Turkey. So, rose, lemon, and orange. And it's in like a huge shape, too. Yeah. It's not as uh, sugary as the last ones. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like powder. Hate. Yeah, there was a yeah. ton of it. All right, let's try it out. Mmm. Which is good, but it's not like the last one. Yeah. This one's more jellier. I'd say that, yeah. Bigger, too. Still good, though. It's still really good. I got the rose. That was good. I gotta try the rose. <laughs> That's not rose. It'd be red. It looks like red. <clears throat> You're gonna finger all of them, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that would be okay. rose. I, it's hard <laughs> to tell. Yeah, the last one that we had was 
I mean, oh, it's man. yeah, it's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The last one we had was not as gummy. It was more kind of melt in your mouth. Yeah. Whereas mm -hmm. this one's more of a jelly or a, a stiffer jelly. It's still good though. I mean, I'll, I'll really eat them. That's Turkish delights, in my opinion, are really, really good. It is a really good delight. <laughs> really good delight. <laughs> <laughs> now this next one is is interesting. This the cake part is extremely soft. So this is a cappuccino cream cocoa pandoro. It's Italy's famous soft and sweet holiday bread. I mean, it's wow. very, very soft. Very. It's almost like a sponge. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was the ingredients? Cappuccino, cream, cocoa, pandoro. That's good. Mm. That's pretty good. I like that. Very I light. We, I wish, yeah, yeah. I wish we would have kept a knife so I can cut it. <laughs> We still got yes, plenty more yes. stuff. I realize. Mr. I'm chewing a bunch of different ones. Uh, so this one, I think was a weird one. <clears throat> yes, goat cheese and espalada chili. This is from France. Get you a nice big one there. Thanks. Oh. I do get, that's okay. So now that I know it's goat cheese, I do get that smell. You want to yeah, switch? That, no, no. That's the biggest one that was in there too. Thanks. <laughs> Good. All right, let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. I like that. Oh my. That chili at the end. <clears throat> well, I like this one. That is not you. That is all yours. That's all me. I, I mean. The smell of goat cheese is there, but it's it's very light. Oh, that's a big one. It's very light. You really get a hit of a chili at the end, which is pretty decent tasting. It the but the mm. it smells like it tastes, mm -hmm. and it resonates in my mouth. And I goat cheese, I just don't. I don't think I would like that. It's still in the mouth. Oh, we might have to have that as a video. Oh. Stinky cheese video. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I like that, that one. That's, that's good. That's my least favorite one. Ooh. Did you get the hit of chili at the end, though? I get a hit of a whole bunch of goat cheese. Yeah. That's why. I got the chili at the end. I like that one. Oh, okay. Got to clear it. Yeah, I got to clear it. So this is plum cake with dolce de leche filling, which dolce de leche caramel, I believe. Dolce de um, leche. Soft and airy with dolce de leche jam inside. It is pretty soft. Sounds like a tongue, tongue twister. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Mm hmm. After this, I'm having the rest of that. <laughs> that is good. Very soft. That is really, it's almost as soft as the yeah. Italian sponge. Um, the Dolce de Leche isn't very overpowering, but you know it's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that one. That's good. It's I, really enjoying. Doesn't melt in your. <clears throat> For me, the only miss so far are the uh, first crisps that we had. The chips. Really, that was that was all right. It was okay. The rest of them have been hits. The <laughs> you already know. Oh, I know which one. I hate these <laughs> so much. <coughs> I like those. <clears throat> all right. So the next one. Going back to the UK. Going, is it the UK? Yeah. Wow, look at you. I have memory. <laughs> <laughs> I've got memory. Uh, so these are Prosecco bonbons. Prosecco is a champagne or a wine. Really? Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. It does look like a marshmallow. Holy oh, wow. Wow, that is very strong. Hard to chew in. Wow. What does that remind me of? That's Prosecco. I'm not a fan of Prosecco. That is nice. What did I do? 
Keep the Prosecco away from you. <laughs> All right. Prosecco is a wine, right? I think it's a wine. Mm. Wine or a champagne, I don't know. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> I'm not a big wine champagne drinker, so I'm not that sure. <clears throat> but you like it. That's good. And it's so-so for me. It's okay. Would I eat it? Yeah. <laughs> so this is popcorn flavored with chocolate and truffles. Uh, rich cocoa truffles with a salty surprise. Yeah, it's salty. It's like, it's like a chocolate. So a lot of times people will put truffles in their coffee to sweeten it up. Really? Yep. The last time I checked, truffles were savory. No, they're sweet. Truffles? Like, Tr you're thinking of the mushroom truffles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's melting in my hand. All right. Oh, this is weird. Do you know, do you know what it reminds me of? Mm. The chocolate part reminds me of like chocolate pudding. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about this one. The chocolate competing with the popcorn on the inside. What popcorn? Oh, yeah. And that's I, what was on the inside, the crunchy part? Well, yeah, the, I barely got any crunchy part. Really? That one had a lot, mine had a lot of crunch. I think <clears> I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I liked it. It was good. It was just a weird... It's strange. Yeah. No, no, I, I like that one. Baklava. 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 All right, let's see. It's so sticky. Here's yours. Thank you. Oh, look, thank you. So it's almost like a sandwich of ingredients. All right. So this is Amon Jordan's version. Yes. Which, it looks like a lot of... Ali, good lord. <laughs> it's it's different because I think with the other <clears throat> ones you got the nut filling more in between the phyllo. This one just has one layer of nut filling. I could be wrong though. I'm not sure. Let's eat. Let's eat. Mm. It's good. That's all right. Not my favorite, but it's pleasant. Mm -hmm. I think I would not want more of the uh, nut filling mm -hmm. in between, but that's not bad. The honey's pretty good. That's pleasant. Because I use honey oh, yeah. to drizzle over. That's not bad. I like that one. It's pretty good. I like it. But I think I like... The turkey version better mm -hmm. than this one. <coughs> Wasn't the turkey one just like all sticky? Oh, yeah, that was all kind of sticky. Wow. So this is the Christmas pudding flavored fudge. <coughs> I don't know what Christmas pudding is. A UK Ooh. tradition. Open it and smell it. It smells pretty good. <laughs> Oh, that's, yeah. you got that spice in there. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. What is this? Mmm. Fudge, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. The best way I can describe it mm -hmm. is Christmas in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's that, like, cinnamon and something numb. It, it's Christmas in your mouth. I mean, that Basically. is freaking fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like this one. <clears throat> that is... That's crazy, it's man. It's a little dry. It's a little dry, though. A little dry, but, man, that is, that is definitely Christmas in your mouth. All right, so, out of all of these... Yeah. Your top three... Mm-hmm. Your top three. Yes. So I mm. just, that's a tough one. I have to say because 
I know this is tough. This is this was a good box. Yeah, this was amazing. <clears throat> oh, man, I I have to say the the Denmarking cookies. Yeah, yeah, those are good. As number one or number three? Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one going down. Okay. Um, Denmark cookies. I have to say the Turkish delight. <laughs> And then uh, the Argentine, Argentine. Really? Yeah, this was good. Okay. The Argentine cake. <coughs> oh. All right. Along with the uh, chocolate. The truffle? Truffies? Yeah. yeah. Truffies. So I don't think this was truffles. So they were. this was just uh, yeah. the chocolate truffles, not the mushroom truffles. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, so mine, I got to say my number one is the Turkish Delight. Mm-hmm. My number two is this one. Mm -hmm. This was freaking fantastic. Wow. Uh, and my number three, I'm torn between three of them. I'm torn between the plum cake, this, the, the, that was good. Uh, the Pandora cocoa cake, mm -hmm. and the cookies. And this is the first time I've ever been torn. You're usually the one that's torn. Yeah. Yeah. You. Usually know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just my flavors. I like those. So I, I, you guys, we can't say it enough. If you ever get a chance to get this box, get it. Please support I mean, this company. This this is probably one of the best purchases we've made uh, for this channel or ever because yeah. of the just the crazy snacks and the cool snacks that we've gotten for it. Um, so cool. Awesome. If you haven't heard from us saying it multiple times, uh, they have a store on their website yeah. where you can get any one of these as long as they're in stock. Right. And it's just, it's it's so cool. We, you know what we forgot to do? Yeah. <coughs> so here are the uh, recipes. <gasps> recipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I in ours, we get we get two recipes, uh, you know, 10 to 12 snacks. Um, the first recipe is the Chinese New Year dumplings, Ooh. which we're going to try. <laughs> we're definitely going to try that. I'm excited. We both love dumplings, and they look pretty easy to do. And I've wanted to try to do dumplings. homemade dumplings for a while. Yeah, dumplings are good. <clears throat> and then the second one is a crazy one. This is try Germany's favorite holiday beverage. Germany. So in it... There's two cups orange juice, two cups apple juice, half a cup of cherry juice, two cups water, two cinnamon sticks, ten cloves, two whole star anise, five bags of hibiscus tea. Bags? Bags. So it's little tea bags. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then honey to taste. <clears throat> we might try that one. We'll see. But just a, such a cool box. It is amazing. I mean, I, I'm so happy we got this one. And you get to experience <coughs> new cultures yeah. pretty much. Through their food. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you guys like this episode, hit the like button. Share it. We sure did. Yeah, we, we love these episodes. <laughs> uh, you know, tell your friends about us. Uh, follow us. Hit the bell. Do all that stuff. Um <clears throat> and uh, from both of us, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Or have a great New Year's. That too. Got anything for him? No. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. See you next week.